Welcome back guys. We are going to be going through how to make a really simple um, database using uh, Easy GUI. Uh, this database, what it's going to do, is going to allow us to create a uh, sort of a password entry system like this and we can go into it and from here we'll be able to add customers and do a number of other things. We're going to be developing it over a couple of videos, okay? So let's get started with the password. So before we get started with anything else, what we need to do is need to make a new folder on your desktop, wherever it is, and inside there, you're gonna need a couple of files. So this easygui.py is a Python file, which is basically a library of uh, graphical user interface items that we're gonna call one at a time, and it just makes everything super easy to be able to like uh, call different graphical items instead of having to code them all from scratch. So you need this file, and I've linked it in the description. You can download it from our GitHub. I've also linked the easygui uh, homepage as well, so you can have a little look at what they do. Now, the best thing about this, uh, if you're downloading it from our GitHub, is that you don't need to link it in with your system in any way. All you need to do in order to use it is make sure it's in the same folder that you save your Python file. So I've made a folder called database and in there I've just clicked and dragged the Easy GUI and it's as simple as that to kind of um, in, in speech marks here to install Easy GUI to kind of use it in our program. Um, and then I've also got a logo which I'm going to be using as well. Now you can use whatever picture you want but it has to be a GIF but not an animated GIF, it won't animate, okay? It just has to be a GIF file. Easy GUI does work with other file types, but you have to install other stuff to get that working. So to keep it nice and simple, just use a GIF file if you want to try this out as well. So we're going to start off by saving our Python file into this database file so we actually know where everything is. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to import everything from Easy GUI. So from Easy GUI, import all, uh, which is that little star. And that'll let us actually use what we want. We're then going to just, I'm going to take the um, the path for the that image that I want to use in this next bit for creating the password uh, splash menu. And I'm just gonna put the link in here. So image one, equals, and I'm just going to get that image uh, link. So you can, on Windows it's super easy to do this, you just go to the file and there'll be a bar at the top and you just copy that as text basically, you just right click and you go copy as text. Uh, on Mac, it's just, no, there's just one more thing to do with it, just go get info on the image you want. And then this where it says where, although it doesn't look like a, a traditional path, if you copy that and then paste it in here, it'll look like a normal path like that. All we've got to do at the end is put our name of our image, so logo.gif, and I'm just gonna put speech marks around the whole thing. And now we'll be able to use this image to actually uh, kind of put an image on our password screen when we start up. So now onto the actual password menu. So I'm just gonna create a function for this. I'm gonna call it password menu. And what I'm going to do for my password menu is I'm going to just make it so it only takes a couple of chances getting started. So um, so if you go over this amount of chances, it's going to kind of chuck you out. So you only get a couple of hits to actually get into the system. Um, you know, a normal system would lock you out of, after a certain amount of hits. So we're going to do the same sort of thing as that. Now, we're going to use our first easy GUI function here, and it's going to be a password box. So we're going to do guess equals, and we're going to call password box, which is an easy GUI, oh, box, which is an easy GUI function. And it takes a instruction, so enter your password. So this will be displayed sort of on the box for the user. It takes a title, password, so that will be uh, displayed in like this gray bar above it. Um, this next one here, we can leave it blank, but what you can do in here is you can put uh, put some text and that will, so if I, I'll show you in a second, but if I put test in here, for example, when it come up, it would show the password box with four stars in it. So if you wanted to put something in the password box, you'd put it in this argument here and it would uh, mask them with uh, asterisks but you could put something in there if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave it blank. Then I give the uh, my image. So I've already taken the uh, the root of my image and I'm putting it into this, uh, into this variable here, image one. So we'll just put image one in there. 
And the last bit here, we just write root equals none. So it's a little bit of a specific that we don't need to go into too much more details in that. We just literally need to write root equals none and it'll work fine. Don't worry about the rest of that. Um, now, from there, we are going to do a quick while loop and we're going to do while our guess that the user has put in. So when the user guesses, basically this is going to call the password box up and whatever that they type in and press OK will be returned into this guess variable. And we have to return it into a variable. I've had people before not return it into a variable and then do it this way and then try and do it so it's like password box, but that doesn't work, that just returns the function. So we just need to make sure that this function is returned into a variable, so whatever they type gets placed into guess, and then we can check guess against a, against a um, password. So we're going to say while guess is not equal to, and then here we're going to put a password. So there we go, nice easy password. And what we're going to say, if they haven't got that password right, we're going to print um, wrong password. So this is more just for us tech, uh, testing. So this is just going to come up on the um, actually in the IDE, not anything graphically. But it'll pop up there and then we can kind of check that things are working as they should do. From chances, we're going to just take one away. Oh, chances equals chances. So what we want to do now, we want to check that chances variable before we give them another go at it. So if the chances is equal to zero, we're not going to give them another go at it. Um, so just for the IDE again, just so we know what's happened, we'll print no more chances and then we'll exit the program using exit. Now if this isn't satisfied, we want to give them another chance. So I'm going to take this here and we are going to do it again. So we're going to call password box and we're going to get them have another go. The only thing I'm going to change is this first argument. So instead of giving the instruction enter your password, I'm just going to say uh, password invalid, try again. So they'll try again. We will check guess again here. And if it's wrong, it will go round and round until chances are zero, and then it will go exit. If at this point we get it right, we'll break out the while loop, and then we will go into the next bit from there. Now, if that is correct, what we want to happen is we want to, uh, we will be going into actually um, creating the main menu after this bit. So I'll just type in main menu for now, because we've not created the main menu, okay? So let's test it and see if it works. In order to test it, we're going to call the function, which is password menu, and then I'm just going to run the program. And what should happen is we get a little database box pops up and it tells us to enter our password. Let's, uh, if I type in here, it should come up as asterisks, which is right. If I press OK, it's going to tell me I'm going to chuck out wrong password to the ID, which is right, say so password invalid. I should only get a couple of goes at this, so password invalid, actually you only get two goes there, uh, and then it goes from there. I might just change that chances to three then, it seems a little bit harsh. And then if I get it right, so if I put the right one in here, and go from there, oh, let's try that again. Um, oh, I wonder if I'm actually doing it correctly. So let's try again with the right password. I just realized that my caps lock was on. That's why it wasn't doing it. So let's try it again. So learn to code. And there we go. So it hits the main menu and then we can program the main menu from there. Okay. So that is the first part of making a uh, we're going to be making a database from this. Uh, that's the first part of that. Um, uh, we're going to be moving on. So the next part, we're going to be making the main menu, and then we'll be looking at adding records and how Python can be used to kind of manipulate records and run queries. So I hope you like that and looking at actually how to use the password box function of Easy GUI. Next time, we're going to be looking at actually how to make the main menu and how to use some of the other functions like the button boxes and choices and things like that. So join us next time when we have a look at that.